Good evening and welcome back to DR Sports. What a night of Premier League football it has been. To my left, a man who probably isn't too happy with seeing my face again this soon after last night. It's Flex. How are you doing, my bro? We saying, man. We saying. Just watching, uh, watching teams dig in and show that they can put in big performances. It's nice. It must be nice, man. Must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> and I tell you what, Arsenal fans tonight are on cloud nine. They finally break that duck of losing three games in a row. And who would have thought it? But tonight they've won 4-2 away at Stamford Bridge. Remember to like uh, the video, comment with your thoughts about all the games tonight. Of course, we'll be talking about Man City going back to the top of the Premier League as well and the other results of the night. And if you haven't subscribed to DR Sports, what are you playing at? Please go and subscribe to the United View as well. Just hit 100k, brand new studio settings as well. And go and subscribe to the COP TV too. So, Flex, let's get into this. I mean, how does this affect your team? I'm looking at the table now. United, 33 played, 54 points gained. Uh, Arsenal in fifth, massive win for that, uh, for them tonight. They go level on points with Tottenham in fourth. So that's a massive win for them. And guess what, Flex? Arsenal only five points behind the mighty Chelsea now. Yeah, the, I was saying that we would have lost against Arsenal, in my opinion, whether they lost this or not. I, I was, I didn't predict they would win. No, I don't, I don't think a lot of people did. I don't think anyone did. Um, yeah, I, I did. I thought Chelsea would dispatch of them easily, but I thought that would have no bearing over Saturday's game against them at the Emirates because, as we saw against you boys, like I said to you in our preview, it's we're, we're done. We're, we're, we're completely ruined. Um, so this, the, all that will happen now is Arsenal are what six points ahead of us now, isn't it? Uh, three with points ahead of hand. United now with with They're one free... game in hand. Yeah, sorry, that's it with one game in hand. So they beat us on the weekend, which would make it six points with a game in yeah. hand, and potentially if they win that, it would be nine. Um, so they will they will just put the final nail in. To be honest, that's that's what that's what will happen on on Saturday. That's what will happen. Wow. Massive result this for Arsenal. Actually leaves them Huge. with an identical record to Tottenham. Played 32, won 18, lost, uh, sorry, drawn three, lost 11. The only thing that separates them is eight goals uh, in favour of Tottenham in their goal difference. So that North London derby becomes so important. Now let's break down the actual game itself. Big up to everyone in the comments as well. Big up to Ilias. Uh, big up to Palmeiras as well. Uh, Binya, I'm not happy with Chelsea. And Harry Kane, the Harry Kane, saying he's really proud for Saka tonight and deserves that goal. Let's get into it. What a game, by the way, first of all. We saw the fights. We saw the goals. It had everything a London derby should have. Flex, when you saw that first goal go in, and it was a really well-taken finish from Eddie and Ketia, there was Arsenal fans before the game saying that he shouldn't have played. They didn't want him on the on the team sheet. And surely he shut his own fans up tonight with, with two goals. Talk to me about that first one. Yeah, he, you know, one thing is to get the stroke of luck for the defender to make the mistake. But one thing that's been labelled at Nketiah is is wastefulness, you know, not up to it, not good enough, missing chances he should score and not affecting the game enough. Um, I remember watching him when he played against Everton. I think Everton went up the side one end and just scored. And then they, he had a header right down the other end. I yeah. don't know how he missed. You know what I mean? People getting onto him for these kind of things. And the only way you can silence that is to, sh is to show a bit. I think what's helped him is the fact that Lacazette's been so bad. What's he got? Four goals all year. Um, you know, four goals and seven assists. In, in And he's been starting the majority of the game. Yeah. So, but Nketiah worked tirelessly. You can say that, yeah, Christensen had a stinker and Chelsea played awful, which they did. We'll get on to Chelsea in a minute, but... He's clean through, you know, sometimes when things like that happen, you get a lot of time to think about it. You, you you fluff your lines, you're not clinical enough. And when you're going away to Stamford Bridge, especially early on in the game like that was, first sort of 10, 15 minutes, you don't know how many chances you're going to get, especially that are given to you like that. You've got to take them straight away. Um, and he did. Uh, his second goal, yeah, there's a touch, of, there's a bit of fortune in it. Again, because of calamitous defending from Chelsea, but he put it about, he, he worked hard. Um, he showed that... Um, you know, he could be he could be counted upon, but it's one game in it. It's one game, but but in the context of this game, he he fully deserves his flowers today, man. He scored two goals at the bridge. It doesn't it doesn't matter what about anything else. The, the fact is, he scored two goals at the bridge and and helped Arsenal get that win. Absolutely, the the equaliser. We were just saying before we came on air, an awful, if we're being honest, an awful, awful. strike from Timo Werner gets the luckiest deflection you'd ever see, and he turns around as if he was. Eric Cantona himself giving it one of them 
Yeah. Um, at 1-0, you're thinking, OK, we've got a game on. And then Arsenal um, threw an amazing move, to be honest. It, gets it was very back. good, yeah. Uh, and Emil Smith-Rowe puts it in for his 10th of the season. Top goal scorer for Arsenal now. Some finish. The, the actual precision on it. He didn't go for power there. Mendy just fell, fell to his knees. Didn't even, didn't even dive. And it, and it wasn't even a, a powerful side foot into the corner. He just literally passed it. Literally passed it right in the corner. And um, that shows the, the weight of the pass from Odegaard. You know, because... Okay. because because, uh, you know, it's, it's great skill from Emil Smith-Rowe to be running kind of full pelt onto that. <laughs> but you need someone to, to give you that weight of pass. And, and to be fair, Odegaard did that all game. He was very good today, like he has been um, a lot this season. Created he, the he, most chances, Flex, in the whole league yeah, this season. Yeah, exactly. Odegaard. I saw that. I saw that stat. Exactly. Imagine so if he, you um, had a decent striker to, to be putting these away. I mean, they did tonight. Exactly. Exactly. So... Um, that goal and, and from transition, I think Xhaka nutmegs two players. Yeah. You know, it it comes from it come it yeah. comes from you know almost calamitous defending by yeah. Arsenal in that yeah. moment, um, and then they spring really well. Um, Odegaard follows his pass out from uh, his pass out to to Saka, follows it, gets it back again, takes a touch, sets himself, and just like I said, the perfect weight for Smith Rowe and good composure from Smith Rowe, man. He was Great good today composure. as well. He had another chance, cool. I think, in the first half. Good. Um, that was narrowly wide as well. Great feet, edge of the area, again, set up by Odegaard. So they were knocking on the door and causing Chelsea problems all game. Chelsea was just so far off it. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, nominations tonight for Man of the Match from Arsenal. Yeah. Could have Smith Rowe, Odegaard, brilliant, and Ketia, two goals. But as you mentioned there, that Xhaka move, as it were, to Nutmeg, yeah. I think it was... Uh, Lukaku. It was Lukaku on yeah. the edge of his own box after they were being pressed to score. That is amazing. And then, listen, 2-2, um, a rare goal, really, from the captain. Big up to uh, Premier League Soccer live stream for the Super Chat. Um, a rare goal for the captain, Aspila Quetta, who had a few words with some fans after losing. But then the second half starts again. All of a sudden, it's Eddie again. It's 3-2. And we're thinking, wow, where's this come from, Chelsea? Yeah, I think... Again, the goal come from a, a bit of good fortune because Thiago Silva sniffs the danger out yeah. and reaches the ball. And Saar, who may have had, was absolutely horrendous. Poor, poor game. Awful, awful. Again, it knocks off his knocks off his legs and straight back into Nketiah's path. But again, to, to credit to Nketiah, when when you're when you're a striker, especially one who's not getting a chance, have to be alert to anything, any little scraps. I'm not saying he's a top striker, but that's what the top strikers do do. Do you know what I mean? How many times, obviously, nowhere near in the same breath and no, never will be. But remember when Suarez used to have this knack of kind of just running into people but would always mm. end up with the ball or, or, a ball nutmeg. To, or a nutmeg or sometimes Salah does it where the ball just is a bit messy but they still get the finish. Mm. That's what you have to do if you want to be a killer. Do you know what I mean? That's what you have to do. You have to be alert for, for mistakes and he puts his left foot on it and it's, and it's in the corner. So, again, big up to him but Chelsea just let's take a minute to talk about Chelsea, bro. They okay. Look, you, you're gonna you can't take any, anything away from Arsenal because they made they made it really uncomfortable for them. They played a high tempo, high press. They were they were really at it. And Chelsea had to r rotate the squad. That's fine. You know, no Thiago Silva, no Rudiger, no Havertz. Lukaku, you know, they kind of changed the system to accommodate him to put to have two up front with Mason Mount in a 10. He's he just null and void, bro. Null and void. Like he just cannot. The team cohesion with him in it, he just he's just not on the didn't same way. Didn't work that tonight, did it at all? It, it just didn't work. It really didn't work. Didn't. Um, no, and the no. dominance that Rudiger and, and Thiago Silva give you, and that calmness and composure, just wasn't there. Probably would have been better even putting Chevro Chalibur in there over yeah. over over Saar. Um, well, definitely not would have been. with Havertz as well. Was yeah, was and, and that, but it's just uh, Chelsea was so far off it. Yeah, no, they really were. And listen, this doesn't bode well for Chelsea coming into um, the end of the season run and also the FA Cup final as well. Arsenal fans, let us know who you think was man of the match tonight. Is it Super Mick Arteta himself uh, for making them decisions tonight to start Eddie? Let's get into some stats possession-wise. I mean, Arsenal, uh, we knew that they would probably average around a third of the possession and it was bang on that, 33% to them. Shots, 14 shots for Arsenal again haven't been shooting a lot recently and the shots that they have had recently just haven't gone in. But 14 mm. shots tonight, four goals. That's a good conversion rate. Four shots on target. Again, four goals from four shots on target. Uh, and they fouled less than Chelsea as well. So everything really points to an Arsenal 
deserved win, really. If you look at the ballot, it's unsurprising, and, 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 very unsurprising, like, sorry, very surprising. Yeah, but all um, well deserved. Surprising in terms of the you know the predictions that everybody had, including Arsenal fans. You know, I was talking to some of my Arsenal friends today. They said, "No, nah, no chance. We, we were awful. We've clocked out. It's this. I'll tell you, you know, he's a, he's a he's a manager. He's a few games away from a crisis or a few games away from doing really well. It's always the same with Arteta. Um, but Arsenal, you don't even need the stats, bro. Like you just look at that game. Arsenal just really put it on Chelsea. Yes, I know at two two, you're thinking it's it's kind of like a basketball game. Not much quality. Mm. Both teams giving the ball away, which which did happen." But you have to give credit where credit's due because even when I asked for the make it 2 2 before about 10 15 minutes before half time, I think it was, it was all Arsenal up until the half. It was Chelsea who needed that half and, and who needed to make a make a make a change. And my fear for Arsenal was that I felt like Arsenal were playing to the best of their capability with the players yeah. that they had available, and Chelsea were playing to the worst of their ability with the players they had available, plus more quality to bring off the bench. And the yeah. fact that Arsenal didn't get a third in the, in the first half, I thought that would come back to bite them. Um, but yeah, you know they what? I've got a stat here. Know. Chelsea have conceded four plus goals in consecutive, by the way, home league games for the first time since December 18. Oh, yeah, Brentford were the last home game they had, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, 1989 yeah. was the last time they did it. They lost 5 2 to both Wimbledon and Liverpool. That's the crazy gang, I believe, in yeah. that era. Chelsea and Arsenal both scored twice in the first 32 minutes this evening, uh, the earliest into a Premier League <coughs> match that both teams have scored two goals since Liverpool versus Leeds on the opening day of last season. And Arsenal have now recorded their 250th Premier League away win and their 709th all-time in the top flight. As you mentioned, Flex, the fans before this, I was watching AFTV, um, the best, really, that they were hoping for is a draw. That mm. win kind of puts an end to this three losses in a row if they lost tonight it really would have been awful but that would have that been I think, win. six and five and six i think that would have been yeah. if they lost tonight yeah um and it's not wasn't looking good but absolutely listen they've done so well tonight and you have to take your hat off if we look at some of the individual performances i think defensively gabriel was solid tonight um and you know what the defenders were probably even though they were in the back four tonight they were looking at that um strike partnership of lukaku and Werner, maybe rubbing their hands because they know two players that aren't on form and, and kind of you can mark them fairly easily now. You know, yeah. Well, Werner's a weird one. He's he's, he's done all right recently, isn't he? Like, um, but notoriously never in form. And Lukaku, yeah, all season been awful. On the, on other days, you, you you're fearing Lukaku against Arsenal. You know, the old school. He's bullying them. You know, that soft centered Arsenal that this isn't there a lot anymore. Um, and I thought that uh, at times there were some nervy moments with with Ben White and and. Um, and Rob Holden, but overall, I mean, they, they played themselves into into the game. They they played themselves into the game. I thought Rob Holden had a had a solid game defensively. Yeah. Um, I thought that um, what's his face? Uh, uh, I thought that um, Gabriel was solid, strong yeah. in the tackle, in on people, not letting them turn. They just defended well as a unit. You know, they they really did. They just defended really really well. Um, and they ground they, they ground it out even when even when it got to three two and they had to face a lot of possession from Chelsea. You never really felt like Chelsea were gonna were gonna score an equaliser. And then they, when when even when Havertz came in, no impact. They nullified mm. everything that uh, they were trying to do. And I thought Arteta's substitutions were good as well. Big up to uh, Rip Ripu Darman who says Chelsea were bombed in their defensive third with the Arsenal press. That's Absolutely, one thing yeah. again, that you have to give Arsenal credit. I mean they've come in. Um, to Stamford Bridge on the back of a win last season, looking to make it two on the bounce. And they did that tonight in emphatic style. And the actual quality of some of those goals tonight, especially for players that you just wouldn't have thought would have scored mm. them, was impressive in itself. Um, Lukaku looked like Don Robbie up front tonight. So <laughs> <Charlie. laughs> wow. Coming with the, uh, the uh, jeans and the Timberlands. Just went on his own channel, you know, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Sar was shocking, says Kenroy. Back in what Flex Awful. said. Uh, Elon says Odegaard masterclass again. Yeah. We said earlier, he's created the most chances in the Premier League. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know who else um, I thought was good today? Who? Uh, pick up Cap Capitals, ca Captain Man, South. Like big up Alex and the Salty United fan Flex. I'm not salty today. I'm <laughs> not. I haven't been salty for a long time. He wasn't salty though, Sal. Yeah, you know, he actually wasn't salty. He said what was going to happen, and it happened. So you can't be salty about that. Hundred percent. Um, I was. I, I liked what um, Mohamed Elneny was doing. 
Well, we've had a couple of people saying El Nenny, uh, man of the match good. tonight. Not glamorous, but solid and dependable, says GLA Rap. Exactly what GLA Rap says. That That is the best way of putting it. Probably the comment of the of the evening so far. Like, I feel like he, what he did, he did a lot of things that went under the radar. You know, winning, winning fouls, picking up the ball in tight areas and holding on to it, releasing it at the right time. Um, just do it. I think El Nenny is that sort of player. He... He does a lot of the basics right. I think he's a player, he, you know those players who really understand their limitations but understand their strengths. Um and right. just stick to that. Yeah, they just they just stick to they just stick to what they're good at. You know he's not going to be good enough for you him to be your main central midfielder for the whole year. But anytime he's coming this year, or anytime I've seen him, obviously I don't watch Arsenal every single game, but anytime I've seen him, I think he brings quite a a lot of a, a bit of calming influence, man. And he did well against Xhaka. God free alongside Xhaka. That's true. Godfrey uh, and any of the Egyptian king. I'm sure there's one other Egyptian that would have something. Second best Egyptian in the world. I'm not too sure about that, to be honest. (laughs) All right, let's have it right and fair. Um, Dignity to put United in the top four conversation. I mean, this Arsenal fan is obviously buzzing after this win last uh, tonight and he's having a go at United. Um, Big up to uh, Alex and Flex. Don Robbie up front, says Joseph. (laughs) Robbie Lyle Kaku. That's <laughs> yeah, that's comment of the night now. Big up, Rick. That's the one. Uh, our jobs are on the line for that. There wasn't me that said it. I just read it out. Come on. 100%. Um, last time we see AGT on the channel, sadly, his fate is sealed. Yeah, because you, yeah, because you're saying Don Robbie up front, isn't it? Oh, um, right. No, no. Listen yeah. again. Just reading out the comments um, <laughs> doesn't mean that that reflects my views or the broadcaster's views. Thank you. Uh, you two are am- amazing. I'm, I'm guessing that means amazing, not Amazon. Big, big up, up Amazon. Big up uh, other e platforms. Uh, <laughs> Diaz will be ripping Aspilaqueta in the FA Cup final. So you saw Aspilaqueta have a, a few wise words um, with the fans flex. What do you think was being said there? And it's not, is it something you like to see? Well, I've been seeing it in my club this week. It's been toxic, so no. <laughs> it's been awful. Uh, Depends yeah, how it goes been... in the chat, right? Yeah, Pogba's been hounded out a couple of times. It's so toxic mm. in Man United, so I'll leave that where it is. But in that Aspen uh incident, I, it was weird because <laughs> the fans didn't want none of it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, nah, nah. No like problem, that, Dave. Yeah. Yes, Dave, no, no problem, mate. Yeah, totally. absolutely fine. No worries. Can I get your shirt? No worries. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looked like Aspen Aspen was pissed. He almost... I don't know. It looked like maybe they, he could have spotted them saying something about the pen he gave away and he probably just snapped because he lost it, didn't he? He lost his head yeah. when he was going at Sack, I believe. I mean, what drive. was that about? That was appalling for the penalty, for the fourth goal. Why are you doing that? With all yeah. The it, at the beginning, it looked like it looked a bit six to one, half a dozen. It looked like, like Saka had hold of his arm, but then it, it just developed and it just yeah, got he more held on to from, a tiny bit long. Yeah. Then it, then it, then it got a little bit more. Bit, bit, bit more messy, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I, that was a weird pen, that one. I don't know. I still feel I need to see it back again. When I was watching it back, I was like, looks a little bit six to one half a dozen. It looked like well, Saka had hold of him, but then he goes down easy when he realizes that he let go, but Aspidaquet still had a go of him. So it was smart play by Saka, man. Smart, exactly that. He just rattled him. Just rattled but him. to see Saka step up, Flex, and this is one where everyone was kind of happy for him. I mean, the abuse he got after that penalty miss at the Euros was heartbreaking. But then to see him actually step up today, and let's not forget Arsenal have missed three out of five penalties this season. Mm. For him to step up and really kill the game there and then, it's great to yeah. see. I, I was happy for him. To, and that again, that's his 10th goal of the season now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I think everyone can agree with that. Um, even though it's club football and yeah, club football is very tribal and we all back our teams. But um, did I want him to score the penalty? Probably not, but I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, I I think people will get what I'm saying. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, so a massive result that for Arsenal, four two winners away at Stamford Bridge, uh, Man City as well. Flex making sure that they go back to the top of the table on good. 77 points. Good, good from a United fan. Is that good? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Well, yeah, no, not good, but just like good not that good. they're still no. But good the that my thing that I've always said is when people say who do you prefer to win it, my thing has always been. I, d- I didn't care who, as long as someone gets agonizingly close and then doesn't win, so that they're heartbroken, so right. someone's pissed. But so um, bit, bit but away, even yeah. so, even if even if you are asking me, I probably I probably say Man City though, because you know if you I, get I don't, another I don't one, think I was asking you to be fair, Flex. Yeah, well, <laughs> good good thing that you're not. But I'm telling you now, I still don't want you to win it, and I still think they will. Okay, well, listen, they won tonight. They always 
uh, kind of do well against the smaller teams at home. Mares, Foden, and Bernardo Silva. And then, listen, the first half was was a bit sticky. There, there was no yeah. goal. I was saying someone. I was like, it's half time, and he's gorgeous. <laughs> exactly, and I was kind of rubbing my hands at this point. They're still six. I mean, massive win for them tonight, but they're still six goals behind Liverpool in terms of goal difference. Uh, and they struggled to break down the the Brighton team in that first half. But then once that first goal goes in, the uh, floodgates open and uh, it's a bit of an easy win for them in the end. Um, big up to Anthony with the super chat. Man City will beat Liverpool in the Champions League final. We can't be saying that because we don't know who's playing in the Champions League final yet, do we? It could be Villarreal. could be an all-Spanish final. Who knows? Mm. could be Villarreal versus Real Madrid. Who it's knows? It's never going to be that. And by the way, it might not be that. But never going to be say, that. if Villarreal do win the Champions League this season after winning Europa last season, oh. I would say that's up there with some of the best achievements in club football. Absolutely. Ever. Put respect on Emery's name, bro. Be up to Anthony Gaming 67. Um, another result tonight that was massively important down below in the bottom of the table. It was Everton getting a, a vital point at home. Richarlison, 93rd minute equaliser. Is that is that them safe now? I think so. I think so. Or is so. it just that they need maybe oh, they're obviously gonna try and get more points, but yeah, I, I same games, four points ahead of uh Burnley. Burnley play tomorrow, is it? Yeah, got a chance to put some pressure on. Um I've always said that Everton are lucky that there's three teams worse than them. Yeah, Everton are lucky, really, really lucky. I think in a more competitive bottom five. They could have been in big, big trouble. Uh, well, they were in big, big trouble, and then Man United rocked up. I think if we would have, do you know what I mean? If we would have beat them, it's just then after the back of them losing to Burnley as well. Yeah. So, but you know, they got they, they were literally saying to me that Everton fans after that game, that you've just kick started our our revival. Cheers, and then, yeah. it's true. So there you go. And, at least they're going to find out hella W's at the minute, man. Yeah, proper. Um, another big win for Newcastle. This puts them into 10th place now. 13 shots. It's 1-0 in the end. Miggy Almiron. I know uh, Matty Renton would have loved hey, that Miggy. tonight. Hey, Miggy. Miggy, like, you know, Miggy. Miggy Almiron. <laughs> um, them. I mean, we knew they were safe anyway, but they're actually yeah. picking up some nice form. Did you well, know? They're doing all right. They don't concede any goals. Apart from I mean? Liverpool. They've got and Spurs, the most and Spurs spanked them as well. Oh, no, but apart from Liverpool, they've got the most points in 2022. Oh, right. Okay. In the Prem. There you go. Six, exactly. home, six home wins in a row, the first time since Bobby Robson era, I just heard. Good form, man. And Arsenal still got to go there away as well. Liverpool got to go there next Saturday. Oof. Bro, again, that's another record we're going to have to just break. It's no easy games, about. man. Apart from Bro, they United, don't exist. the only easy game you get. Man United are just embarrassing. Like, I'm done, fam. So it's yeah. NFG TV. That's yeah. that's where it is at the minute, isn't it? That 100%. kind of desperate uh, mentality. I hear you on that, bro. I hear you. Uh, how big is that point? Felt like they needed to win at home and considering they're hopeless away from home. I think he's talking about Everton there. London is red. Massive result that for Arsenal tonight, which takes them uh, within touching distance or level on points really with fourth. So let's ask this one, Flex. Who? And, and I'll ask you... Let's go from two downwards. Let's go from two to six. Oh, no, fuck it. One to six. Where are we going here? Because we, we, there's so much to be decided still. City. <sighs> Liverpool. Oh, what you saw last night, yeah? Okay. Yeah, 100%. Of course. All right, all right. Course, City, yeah. Liverpool. Uh, Chelsea always kind of have them little, them little blips and then they pick yeah. themselves up. So I think they'll still be third. Tottenham and Arsenal. This is the big one. Tottenham and Arsenal. It's like either of them don't want it, to be honest. Do you know what? Either of them don't want it, but you, it's about momentum, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Spurs have had some big wins where you think, oh, they just beat City, they'll go on and do a madness. Or well, come to Anfield as well. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Arsenal. No, 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 I'm not. I'm going to say Spurs. He's changing his mind. I'm going to say Spurs. I'm going to say Spurs. I'm going to say Spurs. I'm going to say Next Spurs, Spurs, Spurs yeah. to finish fourth. By by what are the margins? What are we talking here? Because at the minute, it's goal difference. Yeah. But wait there, they got to play Liverpool away, is it? They do. Spurs. And this isn't a wine glass, Eric, whilst Flex thinks of his answer. And Arsenal have to play, obviously they're going to beat us on the weekend. And then, they're, then they've got West Ham away as well. They've got Spurs away. So you're writing that game off already. You're, you're, they, you're going to lose again. The same way how I told you 
what would happen when we played you? What, 3 0 minimum? It uh, might not be 3 0, but a loss definite. Okay. okay, loss definite. There you go. Uh, I think the I think the fact Arsenal just beat Chelsea, I think they're going to show a bit now, actually, and then they'll beat us as well. So that's momentum. I, I'll go Arsenal. Arsenal. So you go, you're changing your mind Arsenal. again. Arsenal final answer. Arsenal to Spurs, back to Arsenal. Arsenal final answer. For, this isn't who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's lock that in. Let's lock that in for lock you now. In. Let's lock see what you could have won. Yeah. Uh, there uh, you go. Sixth, uh, West Ham. I think May United finished seventh. Oh, so conference league settings. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hopefully it's not. Tight. Hopefully we just get eighth and don't get none of them. Yeah. <laughs> Trivarelli is tight. I feel his pain. Do you know what? I feel like Flex is is. The, the skin's too thick now for this pain. I'm done, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm done. It bounces like, off now. <laughs> I'm done, bro. Just to see me, me and KG fucking playing charades, bro, because there's nothing going on. With the team, Unbelievable. Nothing. Um, why is he so mad? Probably because his team are playing pants. But there you go. Guys, that is your post-game reaction. Chelsea losing again at home, conceding four goals again at home, this time to yeah. Arsenal. A massive win for Manchester City to put them back to the top of the table. Will that change come the weekend? Who knows? Liverpool playing Everton in a massive game on Sunday. Uh, Newcastle winning 1-0 at home again to less. Sorry, winning 1-0 at home to Crystal Palace. Uh, a great win for them that really cements their uh, place in the Premier League next season. They can really start planning forward now. And um, obviously with the other result, Everton nicking a draw at home to Leicester. Four great games in the Premier League. Um, Pac-Man says you skip past City you scouse rat well actually we already spoke about City so if you just want to rewind a bit Pac-Man <laughs> and you can check that out my bro uh, but big up for watching Flex as always love thank man. you for coming on it's always a pleasure never a chore go and big check up. out United View new studio settings raising the levels we are man we are big up to everyone for the support and the love it's just your team it's just your team that's not raising <laughs> the levels with you really oh mate honestly I can't wait for the season to end I know, it's going to be a long one. It's actually going to be a long one for Liverpool. We're still in everything, as you know. Um, but right, DR Sports, you know what it is. Make sure you're subscribing each and every time. Hit that notification bell so you always know when we upload. We'll see you again next time. Take care. All the best. Get home safe.